Hey everyone, Pastor Drew here from Spirit in the Hills Lutheran Church with another minute message. This is a short gospel message, particularly for the youngest members of the church and for you. Thank you for being with us today. This is part of our worship. We also worship together live every Sunday online right now at 10 a.m. Facebook.com slash Spirit in the Hills and Spirit in the Hills dot org slash live. And today we're going to talk about worship. So this is part of our worship. And many of us think of, and probably you, think of worship as being what we did when we came to church and spent some time together and prayed and sang and had this minute message and heard scripture read and talked to one another and shared the peace with handshakes or hugs or high fives or fist bumps. And maybe you also think of worship as these videos that we've been using to guide our worship together or being led by a pastor. You think of song or prayer that we do together online or in person. But worship is more than that. And today, Paul writes in his letter to the Romans about how you are to be a living sacrifice of worship, a living offering of worship for God, that the way that you live is an act of worship. And that means that we are called to live in ways that focus on God, that share God's love with all those we encounter. We're called to live out the th and do the things that God wants for the world, which is more life and more love that goes on from now till forever for you and for everyone. To help feed hungry people because that's worship too. To live in ways that honor every person we encounter because they are a child of God. And living like that, sharing that kind of joy and honesty, serving other people and thinking about how they feel when you do the things you do and acting in ways that help them know they are loved. That is what it means to live worship. When we worship together, we hear God's word and we live out that act of worship. We live the way that God calls us to live so that all of our lives are an act of worship. We eat a meal together called communion and we share in Christ's body and blood where there is enough for everyone so that we can remember that every time we have a meal, we want there to be enough food for everybody to eat and be fed. We share the peace with one another so that when we go out and live the rest of our lives, we greet one another in ways that work towards peace. You see, because our lives are worship. So we worship together in these videos and in person when we can, and we sing and we pray and we act, but we also worship with our whole lives. And that's what Paul encourages us to do when he writes to the church in Rome. Would you pray with me? If you would repeat after me. Good morning, God. Thank you for Jesus, who shows us what it means to live a life of worship. Worship with our very lives. Amen. We'll see you soon. Grace and peace.